The wait continues for the start of the 2022 World Cup, but we've got a surprise for you. On today's episode, we will talk to Mario Tot, assistant coach for the national team of Iran. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Eli Talk. has been part of Iran's turnaround in World Cup qualifying. His name is Mario Tot. Hey everyone, welcome back to Team Meli Talk. Joining us all the way from Croatia, assistant coach for the national team of Iran, Mario Tot. Mario, welcome back to Team Meli Talk. It's great to have you on the show again. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Last time when we were talking, uh, we were in the uh, very difficult time uh, trying to reach the World Cup. Now we are there and I'm very happy to share my uh, thoughts with you. As we know, Iran was recently drawn into Group B at the 2022 World Cup with England, the United States, and the winner of the European playoff, which will be Ukraine, Scotland, or Wales. Now, my first question for you, Mario, is what was your first reaction when you learned that Iran got grouped with England? First of all, I was very happy to have uh, England in our group because playing against uh, England will be fantastic uh, uh, event for everyone in the world because uh, England, you know, all people in the world are following Premier League. All people in the world know that England was the semi-finalist of, of the last World Cup in Russia and also finalist of the European championship. We are very happy to play against them and uh, we are not scared of anyone because we believe in our team. And with everything you had to say right there, yes, us Team Ali, us Iran supporters are very happy to hear what you have to say. So thank you. We love the confidence. And Absolutely, because uh, uh, our players are very confident. Uh, our players are playing in uh, 70 to 80% of our players are playing in Europe. They know each other, they know, they play together for the last couple of years and they, are, they have huge confidence in them. Now, when talking about, you know, one of the other teams, of course, we know this is a very different kind of experience for the World Cup draw because we still don't know the other team in Iran's group. But of course, we're gonna have to wait till June the 5th to find that out. But real quick, I wanna focus on the United States. And as we know, they shockingly missed the 2018 World Cup in Russia, but that was, even, you know, that was, of course, in the past. They're back in the World Cup, and they're looking very good with players uh, like Christian Pulisic, Weston McKinney, and, of course, you know, players like Serginio Dest and Yunus Musa. So, in your opinion, though, do you think this might be the most dangerous uh, United States squad to appear at a World Cup? Listen, they have a very good uh, team. They have a young, uh, uh, very good, uh, uh, technically gifted team. And uh, we know that all games in our group will, will be very difficult. We, uh, we, we don't have doubt that uh, each game will be a story, uh, a very difficult story. But uh, as I said, uh, Iranian players are very confident. Uh, they work hard to be on, on that stage. They know uh, how to uh, how to prepare themselves for for this World Cup, and we believe that uh, we believe that uh, we, we we can say that England is uh, uh, one of the of the favorites of the World Cup. But as I said on the beginning, we are not scared of anyone. We are Croats, and uh, we are leading uh, uh, Iranian team Croats who are not scared of anyone. We know. Uh, our, we, we respect ourselves and uh, we believe that uh, our players will be on a good uh, physical state in the right moment. Uh, everyone, are, all of them, mostly, all, uh, mostly they are playing in Europe, so they, they, are, uh, they know how to uh, fight with the best players in the world. Now, the other team we know is going to be Ukraine, Scotland or Wales. Now, of these three national teams, which one are you most familiar with? Listen, if you, if you ask me who would be the best choice for us, it's very difficult to say. When I look at uh, Scotland, 
I can see a very, very, very powerful team with so many players playing in Europe, in England, uh, McTominay, and uh, most, a lot of players are playing in uh, the best clubs in Europe. If you speak about Ukraine, we know all situation now uh, in this moment in their country. Uh, I know that they will be very motivated if they, if they come on the World Cup, they will be very motivated. Uh, playing with so many players in uh, the best clubs in Europe also. Uh, they, they have a style a uh, little bit similar with the Croatian style of uh, foot, playing football. So technically gifted players uh, with a great coach. Uh, and uh, I, would, I would say uh, Wales also, uh, they have uh, some uh, prominent players playing uh, great, the best roles in their clubs. So if you ask me who is the best choice, I think all, play, all teams are very, very good. Uh, but uh, in this moment, we still didn't have enough time to uh, go deeply into them and uh, see their qualities, individual weaknesses, uh, uh, team strength, and so on. So as I said, uh, Iran is ready. Iran will be ready, and we we are not interested uh, to uh, be just be there on the World Cup and be just one of the teams. We want to qualify first time in history in a, a second uh, stage of the World Cup. When it comes to friendly matches, there isn't really usually a lot of variety because it seems as if Iran only plays against teams like Uzbekistan or Syria and sometimes Bosnia. Now, I want to go over some of these rumors I've heard, uh, uh, Mario, about which teams Iran might be playing in friendly matches. We've heard rumors about Iran possibly playing against New Zealand, but we've also heard rumors that Iran is very close to possibly playing against Argentina or Brazil. Now, what can you share about this information? To be honest with you, in this moment, we still di didn't, didn't settle any uh, uh, game. Uh, uh, preparing for the World Cup. As you said, uh, uh, we also are hearing uh, rumors about some uh, uh, possible opponents in this uh, pre-World Cup time. But uh, as I said, in this moment, in this moment when we are speaking, we still don't know who, who are going to be our opponents uh, 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 preparing us for the World Cup. What is important to say in this moment is that we will carefully uh, try to ch we will try to choose very carefully our uh, uh, possible opponents preparing for the World Cup, uh, looking for the teams who will be similar, uh, like teams we are going we are going to face on the World Cup. When I speak about that, then uh, we know that uh, we know how uh, England is playing, and we will try to find. Uh, team who can be similar opponent uh, on the way uh, 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 and uh, trying to simulate style of England. Also, we, 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 we know uh, United States is there. We will try to find opponent who is, who is going to be similar like USA uh, and their style of play. Uh, we will, we will in, in a, we have two, uh, two uh, pre-match windows. One is in June, one is in uh, September. We have enough time and space to have a couple of games, let's say five, six games in those two windows. And it will be, I will, I will not say enough, but it will be uh, uh, for everyone is the same. It will be uh, time when we will see uh, who is the best for us to, to, to try to uh, prepare our team for the World Cup. You know, and of course, whenever, you know, we're talking about these possible friendly matches, like you said, I know there's a lot of work that, you know, there's a lot of communication that needs to be done, you know, you know, of course, with head coach Dragan Skocic, you know, arranging these friendlies. And, you know, of course, I can't help but always talk about England being in Iran's group. Do you think it would be a good idea to try and arrange a friendly with maybe Ireland, excuse me, would maybe the Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland, or do you think both of those teams play a little too defensive and nothing like England? Uh, it's very important to choose teams who is going to help you 
who are going to help you to be ready for the World Cup. Uh, playing uh, friendly games against weak, uh, weaker teams is not, uh, I would say, is not uh, uh, helpful because uh, then you will face teams totally different story uh, on the World Cup. So I'm sure that our management uh, with the Dragons Kocic on, on top, uh, they will choose carefully the good teams, teams who will help us to be better on the World Cup. And one other thing I really think is important to mention is that, you know, before the 1998 World Cup, Iran played Croatia in a friendly match. And I believe it was Croatia that won uh, 2 nothing. And then, you know, before the 2006 World Cup, Iran also played Croatia in a friendly match. And that one ended in a 2-2 draw. So is it possible, is there a good possibility to play against Croatia in another friendly match? Uh, I will tell you one fact, uh, everybody knows that uh, uh, nation, UEFA Nations League uh, is starting soon in summer and it will be very, very difficult to, to meet uh, the best European teams uh, uh, regarding to prepare ourselves for the World Cup because Croatia is also part of this uh, nation, uh, Nations League in Europe, UEFA Nations League. So, it, it's, it's not going to be easy to find uh, suitable opponents, but we believe that uh, we have enough uh, teams in the world who can help us to prepare us for the World Cup. Looking back at World Cup qualifying, Iran finished top of Group A and qualified comfortably to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. But Mario, there has been a lot of criticism towards Dragan Skocic after the 2 nothing loss to South Korea. Now, in your opinion, do you feel that Dragan Skocic and the coaching staff um, have, been, have been treated unfairly recently by a lot of the Iranian football pundits? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, everyone forgot uh, one fact that the Iran national football team was in a big troubles when Dragan Skocic came to be a head coach. Uh, everybody, everyone uh, forgot that the uh, Iran national team was in a very difficult situation in a group stage uh, at the moment when he was there. Uh, third in a group with so many problems in a team with uh, not clear situation. And uh, uh, after that time, when we started uh, working with the, uh, with the national team, we started changing things. Uh, things, things are not uh, uh, easy to change uh, when you don't have players every day, when they are coming now, every now and then. But uh, uh, in our, our string of 15 winning games and one draw and one losing game is enough to say that Dragan Skocic and his staff did a great job in a very difficult circumstances. And now our future is looking very bright. Mario, I would just like to thank you for taking the time to join me on Team LA Talk. It really was a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you again, and I hope uh, to make you all proud. And that's it, everybody, for this edition of Team LA Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teamelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team LA, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team LA Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team LA Talk.